Hey guys, uh, just wanted to give you an update on my Remington TAC-13. This is um, probably the, one of the most exciting firearms I've bought in a long, long time. And I just want to show you everything I did to it. Uh, I showed you last video I made. It just it was you know it was out of the box. It had the uh, the pistol grip on it, and it was uh, semi useful. Now it's uh, very very. Uh, what do you call it? Here's a light. Got an enforced light there. And believe it or not, this flashlight holder from GG and G holds it pretty good. Keeps it nice and close to the gun. Uh, the only thing I'm looking for is because even where it is right now, it'd be nice to have a pressure switch like right there. But that's on the barrel, so we can't do that. Um, I wish you would have a small light with a pressure switch. Most of the pressure switch lights are bigger lights. Uh, the smallest one I seen was a TLR1 with a pressure switch, but I don't like how they sit on the gun. They stick out too far. Uh, you know, I just don't like the way they look. Uh, wish they would come out with like a nice, slender, skinny. Uh, flush fitting, tucked away looking tactical light for a shotgun with a freaking pressure switch. So, so far I can't find one. So for now we got the enforced light on there. has its own pressure switch on it. It's okay, but it's a little, you know, it's a little uncomfortable uh, the way I got to twist my thumb to actuate it. Um, got about... 240 rounds through this plus people trying it out so there's probably like 300 rounds through it zero malfunctions all different kinds of loads and ammo um, high brass low brass you named it and it's been through it and uh, super reliable gun so far uh, great extraction I have the new Suarez folding brace on there which make to me makes it more of a useful firearm uh, I got the Velcro uh, side saddle in there. Now, I've been through quite a few side saddles. The problem with the other ones, the plastic ones, they get loose after a while. And then they wear out after a while from sliding the shells in and out. These kind of stay nice and tight. Uh, the plastic ones tend to stick out just a little further than the Velcro. Because you have to, it's mounted on the gun, so it, you know it, it mounts on there. And there's, it has like it comes around with some clearance so it sticks out. If you use the right one with the right Velcro, you'll like this better. It's closer to the gun, the, the shells are in there solid, they're not going anywhere. Um, after you're done shooting, they, they're in the same position. The other side saddles, the plastic ones, what I've been experienced with those, when you're done shooting, one's down here. One's up here, one's down here. They're, they're like they, they move around and they get loose. This these don't go anywhere. Don't go nowhere when you shoot. So I recommend that. I like the uh, the uh, Velcro side saddle. I don't know the name of this one. It's not much money. I forget the name of it. But this particular brand, you got to make sure you get a high quality one. Don't just go on Amazon and buy one for six dollars. Uh, look uh, look up the reviews and look up the ones that are nice and heavy duty. Uh, this I did get off Amazon but I forget the name of it because I'm never prepared when I do videos ever. Uh, I got the Suarez folding brace on here which is awesome. If you want to make it smaller you can. If you want to make it smaller so you can put it away or tuck it away somewhere or fit it in a range bag that's small. All you do is push that button when it swings around and locks in place, there's no wiggle. It doesn't jiggle or anything. Suarez did an awesome job designing this, uh, this folding brace. It's all steel. Steel, 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 all the way steel. The only thing that's plastic and rubber is the brace. That's it. And it adjusts. I like to keep it on the small side. So, some people think, well, you're defeating the purpose of it. By putting a brace on there because you're making it longer. No, you're not. Because if you look at a shotgun that's 18 inches with a stock on it, 
that's legal, right? A legal shotgun, a legal length shotgun, 18 inches with a stock on it, is still way longer than this thing is. So this is an under 18 inch shotgun that you're allowed to shoulder that's legal. It's a 13 inch barrel. Are you freaking kidding me? So that's the way I look at it. And now I can shoot it right if I had to and comfortably and give it the backstop on my shoulder that it needs to run reliable. Okay, but uh, I've seen people shooting these without the brace and just shooting them with the pistol grips and they're still not really jamming. That's pretty amazing. But this just makes it even more. The, you know, when you're putting the gun up against a solid surface, you're allowing that bolt to run back and forth, you know, the, with full support that it needs so it doesn't, so it doesn't fuck up, okay? And that's, the, that's the, the basic fundamentals to every semi-automatic weapon, just like a handgun. If you don't hold it solid, and you don't give it a good grip, and you don't hold it with a lot of stability, if the gun jiggles around while you're shooting it, it's going to jam. Yup, even Glocks. They all do it. So, you know, this is the uh, scientific version of the video. That's about as scientific as I get. So I just wanted to show you this. Uh, I'm, this thing's friggin' sweet. It even have a drilled and tap receiver in case you wanted to put a rail up there doesn't need it. I got these aftermarket fiber optic sights. Um, they're nice. They're steel. They bolt on to the, to the rib of the top. The ribbed barrel ain't going nowhere. Nordic Components barrel clamp on there. That comes with it when you buy it. Alright. So I don't want to junk it up too much right there. Just the way it is. That's just, just the way you want it. They do have uh, oversized uh, bolt releases adapters. I really feel no need for it. Maybe I will in the future, but right now uh, it actuates pretty, pretty quick with the ease. There's, there's no, you don't have to push real hard or anything. It just it goes. And the more you shoot it, the more you use it, things rub together, things break in, things get polished, and the gun just runs better and better and better. All right. So there it is. A uh, full report on the TAC 13. So far, it's a hundred percent awesome. Awesome. Now this is what I wanted to show you about the side saddle issue. Here is my shockwave. So my semi-automatic, I have the TAC-13, and my pump shotgun, I have the shockwave. I like the shockwave. Okay. Clear chamber. So here's, here's the side saddle on this one. Now when I'm done, this is the one I was telling you about. This is machined out of aluminum. It's all steel. It's real, it's real you know, Real sturdy, real heavy duty, and all that stuff. But you can see, look how much it sticks out. It sticks out further, about a quarter of an inch more than the other ones. And like I said, when I'm done shooting, all my shells end up like this. They're like all over the place, and I have to keep straightening them out again because this doesn't really hold them as tight as the Velcro system does. It just doesn't. Look how, look how loose that one. This is, a, this is a good one. This is from Mesa Tactical. This ain't no junk. And what it is, is there's like a rubber gasket in there that keeps these from sliding. But that, that's so loose. You know, like I said, I'm probably going to take it off, put the Velcro on this one too. I also have the Velcro on my Beretta 1301. I like the Velcro, obviously. Uh, like I said, with the right Velcro, Go to Home Depot, get extra industrial strength Velcro. It's super, super sticky. And trust me, man, you clean it with alcohol, you put it on, it'll never come off unless you want to pull it off. So, yeah, I, I ain't liking that. No way. So that's, that, I'm probably going to switch that over. It's a shame because this is a nice system. But now when I take this off, I'm going to have holes in the top of my receiver because I, I didn't keep the plugs. What an idiot. So this is great. And um, I upgraded the front sight, put a nice big white dot on there. This has a uh, Mesa Tactical um, adapt adapter on there. Same thing with this. This uh, adjusts. Okay, just a regular Magpul AR grip is what that is. Not nothing too fancy. Uh, it's got the castle nut 
and the uh, buffer tube just like an AR. This is all steel housing, really nice. It has your quick disconnect points here, your QD, QD outlets on both sides. It's nice. These are a little stiff in the beginning. Once you get some rounds through them and pump this bad boy a couple hundred times, uh, it starts loosening up and it gets nice and slick. So they're my two shotguns for home defense. And uh, they both run fantastic. Uh, real quick, you guys know the website's up now. I'm going to put the link under the video. And just wanted to show you, here's one I did for a Sig Sauer P365. It's one of the hottest carrying guns right now. And this is an in the waistband holster. Okay. Good retention, no movement, uh, but yet enough movement for the slide won't get rubbed too bad and it won't, you know, demolish the finish on your gun. Now, I mean, any holster you put your gun in, eventually the finish is going to rub off. That's just a fact. But we try to make them um, with a little bit of clearance so that doesn't happen. Uh, most of the tension is around the trigger guard where it should be, not rubbing on the slide. So I'm just showing this real quick because uh, now we have the uh, loop straps available on the website. I just put them on there as, as, as another option. So if you look on the website, you can either get the plastic clip 1.5, 1.75, or a loop strap. I call them loop straps. I know they're, they're not called that, but that's what they're called on my site. You know what the hell they are. You, what, what else is a loop strap? It looks just like this. But this is the rubber coated. Uh, rubber coat webbing. I can't say that. You wascally wab it. Elmer Fudd talking mother humper. Rubber coated webbing. Holy Christ. And it's anti-snag anti snaps. So in other words, once you snap it on your holster, if your holster gets yanked or jerked, it will not unsnap. The only way you can unsnap it is put your thumb on it, roll it back, and unsnap it. Okay, that's how these work. They're awesome. So these are now an option. So now when you uh, go in there, look at the holsters, you can pick clip, you can, you, can pick, you can pick the strap, it'll all get printed out on the form. We'll do exactly what you say and what you want and ship the friggin' thing out to you, okay? This is a right hand, we do left hand, of course, all that stuff. So, um, you know, the website's coming along fine. It's still developing. Uh, we're still learning how to use it. it. Man, it's nothing like YouTube. YouTube, you can learn how to use a YouTube channel like in like 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, a website's a little different. It's pretty complex. But um, we're getting it down pretty good. I'm starting to learn how to do a lot of stuff. But it is live and ready. So my advice to you is if you do have a carry gun and you, you need a decent holster for it and you don't want to wait too long, now's the time to order because right now I'm not busy yet. But once all these YouTube channels start promoting these holsters and I start getting busier now you might be waiting you might have to wait a week you know right now you're, you're you can get it in days so I'm just letting you know because right now it's just orders are coming in they're coming in steady enough to where I can make them good make them nice and get them out quickly and that's the way it is right now uh, before it gets any busier uh, I would go on the site see what we have see if there's anything there you like and order it. Uh, another thing is if you don't see a picture of the gun on the website don't worry about it that means I just didn't upload the picture yet for that gun. We have it. If it's on the website we make it and we have it. If you want to see what it looks like just look at the other holster pictures and it's you know it's it's going to look like that but it's going to be your style gun whatever that'll be. But uh, don't worry about that. We're going to have everything up there sooner or later. Alright guys I hate long videos so Talk to you soon. Going to be putting a lot more videos out more often now because, you know, double action closed. I don't work there anymore. Nobody works there anymore. And uh, I got a little bit more time on my hands. So I'm going to be holsters and videos. That's what I'm doing. Talk to you soon.